7 o'clock. I am in the place to be. Yes. Right here. Thank you for being here with me. Hello, Abdullah Jamil Jihad. Yolanda, hi there. Welcome, everybody. It is Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live. The website is www. By now, you should know this better than me. SugarPearlsOnline.com YouTube, of course, at Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. Yes, and Instagram, which is uh, Sugar Pearls underscore online. I'm here. I still feel like my connection is, like it may be a little bit slow, but I... Last week's connection was so I didn't even post last week's pizza video um, because the audio and the video did not sync up and I refused to bring that to you. I couldn't do it. So I'm hopefully hoping that tonight I'll have uh, a little more success with that. Welcome everybody. Hello cousins. My parrot cousins tuning in. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys are tuning in because to me that says that you are well. You're okay enough to uh, tune in oh. to the show. Welcome again to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Yes. Where we speak the truth, have fun, laugh. <sighs> mm. And cook and eat. And that's what we're going to be doing tonight. So, let me show you what's happening here. It's chicken marsala tonight. Things are, I feel like my um, connection is moving really, really, really slow. So you may, Viva, you, I know you'll tell me the truth. Is it like dragging? I don't, I, I got another computer up in here. Because I, I would love for someone now my sister viva for for the, those of y'all y'all like who is viva who's viva shalit child we y'all know shalit went to my place um so we both work for communities and schools charlotte and um viva has been posting thank you has been posting almost every day i believe every day since this pandemic um, came about activities and different resources for families out there. So there are ways to get food. There are things that you can do. So all of my homeschooling parents right now, um, who are about to, woo, woo, like the, the Mentos is in the Coke bottle. Yeah, that kind of, explosion you you at that point um she's been posting tons of resources for all of us to stay informed and engaged about what is happening in the community and she's not just doing it just for what's happening in charlotte so if she's heard about resources in different areas especially south carolina north carolina wherever we're from um she's putting it up there so I need for you guys, um, if you haven't, make sure you friend Viva Harris. She's the owner of Viva's Closet, Viva Harris, just V-I-V-A, Liv Harris. Uh, go to, and friend her and you'll see like lists of things to do for our students. You'll see... Um, Pick up things, pick up places for food resources. Um, my president and CEO today, Molly Shaw, was actually out in the community um, picking up bags of food and delivering them to hotels, motels, where some of our families have um, um, home insecurities, food insecurities. Um, our organization has been working with other people in the community to make sure that those students are fed 
during this time. So if you know of resources, I need for you to open your mouth and share them with people. It does no good if, if you don't tell nobody about it, okay? Uh, and what I have loved about my people is if, if y'all found like some paper towel or toilet tissue somewhere, y'all be like, look, especially in South Carolina, uh, Dollar General on 341, Highway 341 got paper towels, got toilet tissue, got this, that, and the other. Do that. You need to because like I said last week, this kind of crisis gets people crazy and people start to do stupid things and act all out of sorts like i said good times build confidence hard times build character we in a hard time right now and now we're getting to see who people really are when the hard times come all right so if you can make things a little bit lighter for families and students and other folks like Viva said, please let us know the resources so we can share them. She'll post it on her site. I'll post it on my site. I will. Just, you you can go there now. I got my site up now. If you want to add something to there um, while you're watching the live or after you're watching the live, please add it. We want to know about that. All right. I am about 20 minutes in. We're going to keep talking about this. We're going to keep talking about resources and ways to keep each other lifted and supported and cared for and loved but we gonna get into this chicken and marsala recipe because after all that is why you tuned in to see me cook eat and make a fool of myself right okay so that's what we're gonna do all right so got my pan got a, a hot skillet going and um i've got my chicken breast so my chicken breasts, I, I beat all the way down with the flat side of my mallet, flat side. And now, after you dredge it in a little bit of flour, you're just going to drop it on in the pan. Yes, turn it up. We're going to let that go for about five minutes and then we will flip, um, go for another five minutes and then we'll take it out and add our um, onions and our garlic and then we'll start to uh, really bring the recipe together. All right. I already got some jasmine rice already cooked. I'm going to do some Brussels sprouts. Uh, on the side, but let me wash my hands and I will be right back. Watch that for me. Make sure I'm gonna turn it up now. Make sure it don't burn. Okay, watch that for me. All right, I'll be right back. I'm I'm still here with you. Meantime, keep sharing them resources. Put it on there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching for me. <laughs> The website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com and then the Instagram is sugarpearls underscore online and YouTube, I want you to, to subscribe, is sugarpearls, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S, okay, okay, all right, ooh, all right, let's, I, I have two pieces of, of um, chicken, but I think I'm only do one just to show you tonight, and I'll, I'll do the other one maybe tomorrow for dinner, okay? I'm going to put this up 
and save it. For some Brussels sprouts. Okay, so while my chicken is going, where my tongs at? My tongs. My tongs is right here. This pan is really big and it doesn't fit my eye. It's way bigger than the eye. So what I cook has to go like dead center to really give it a nice even coating. Okay, that's looking good. And now I'm going to start my Brussels sprout. Okay, so sprouts. hang on. Oh, yeah, a little bit longer. So I know um, a lot of people don't like, it was so funny today. I talked to Diva today. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Look, she putting all the IG stuff out there for you. You a mess. It was so funny. Diva and I went to the grocery store today, not together. We went separately. And I picked up Brussels sprouts. And while she was at the door, she was like, oh, I see some Brussels sprouts on sale. I'm going to get those. I was like, girl, I just got Brussels sprouts. Crazy, right? I know. So we got Brussels sprouts for our veggies tonight. I know a lot of people don't like veg um, Brussels sprouts. They're, they're so cute. How can you not like them? They're cute. They look like little cabbages. Little baby cabbage. <laughs> And what I did was just put them in a little, of course, salt, pepper. I did some, uh, oh, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. And I added a secret ingredient to this, which is a little bit of German pickle juice. So, yeah, I said pickle juice. I did. Ew, this is good. Yeah, let me show you. So, I love these German pickles. I, oh my God, they're so good and so crunchy. Okay, time to flip. Yes, baby. Got a little char. German pickles. Sweet, salty, crunchy, delicious. I added about a fourth of a cup to my Brussels sprouts. Let them marinate. Oh Lord, don't start smoking. I'm gonna pull this off, y'all. The fire alarm about the um my alarm about to go off. I feel like it is anyway. I'm scared. I'm scared. Added some pickle juice to this, let it marinate. I had it marinating for about two hours, so that seasoning got all the way down in there. Hold on, let me turn this fan on up in here, okay? Honey, living in a little apartment, you got to, got to make sure because that alarm will go off for anything, honey. So I'm still, I'm, the chicken is fine. Don't worry, it's fine. I've got it on the back eye back there so I can show you how to do the Brussels sprouts. Super easy, super delicious, flavorful if you add flavor. Now, the reason why you probably don't like Brussels sprouts is because somebody who made them for you didn't season them. Salt, pepper, Worcestershire, and pickle juice. Close it up, let it marinate a few hours or overnight till you like it. And now we're going to sear these. Um, I cut them in half, like so. Yes, yes. Oh. 
Little cabbages. That's all they are. And just place them. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It's going to sizzle now, so I'm going to... I'm trying not to get too much liquid in here because this all that marinade. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Shakalaka. Okay, let that cook. I'm going to flip that just a little bit. And we're good. Okay. Now, when the chicken comes off, we will, I'll pull it out, add the onions and garlic. And then the marsala wine, yes, you need, in order to do a, a chicken marsala, you need marsala wine, okay? You can do it with uh, white wine or cooking wine, it's up to you. But I, I wanted to be true to the recipe, so I actually bought some um, marsala, which, which is the right way to cook chicken marsala or veal marsala okay mm. it's kind of vinegary got a little sweetness to it but it's super good okay let's turn that all the way up and hi donna hi kamik hi kim hi misha misha hi sharice <laughs> hi aunt darlene Yes, um, I, I'm glad to see you guys. Hey, my brother Dan, big brother, Rue. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, that, when, when I see your names, like I say, I see your faces pop up. Like, in, even if you don't have a picture, I see your faces in my mind. So, um... It lets me know that you're okay. And I think right now, I really just want to know if you're okay. Do you have everything you need? Um, I'm going to talk about that in just a little bit. Hang on. Ooh. That chicken is so tender and flavorful. You're going to love it. So when I put the chicken in the bag, I, of course, seasoned it generously with salt, garlic, powder, onion powder, whatever you want to use. Whatever seasonings you like. Butterfly that chicken breast. Lay it flat. And just commence to just beating away. Get out all your frustration. Because it looks like we're going to be here for a minute. Might be here for a minute. And I'm okay with that. As long as I can cook. And create. And um, be productive in some way. I'm good. So... Thank you for being here with me, because you are my therapy. You know that, right? Yes, you are. Sorry, but you're stuck with me. Oh, yeah. You are my therapy. Okay? So, you got a nice little caramel color on the flat side, and I'm going to let the other one go, the other side of the Brussels sprouts. There you go. Mm-hmm. Pretty, huh? Nice and seasoned. I don't want them soggy. I don't want them mushy. I want them to have a little bite to it. 
So I'm going to move these out the way. Scoot my chicken back up. My chicken pan. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So now I'm going to, uh, I took my chicken out. Get a little more olive oil in there. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Here you go. There you go. Okay. So I got some little pan drippings and whatnot from the chicken. Woo! Don't you? How dare you yell at me like that? Little pan drippings. Okay. Bye that out. In that pan dripping, I want to go ahead and put my onions and my garlic. Got it? Good. I'm going to do a little more garlic because I love garlic. I don't know how much it was. <laughs> Just however much you want. It's up to you. I just like garlic. Okay? I'm going to get that all around in there. Real good. Scrape up some of that. And just let it go. Okay? Awesome. Now, that's going. It's fine. Okay? Got the onions. I'm going to let that get a little softer. And then I'll add um, about a cup of Marsala wine. This is cooking wine. Okay? And then we're going to add to that Marsala wine after it's burned off some of the alcohol gonna add about a cup of chicken broth and then let it cook down some more let it reduce just a little bit then after you do that add a touch of cream just a touch okay it'll come into a nice little sauce and that'll be like your gravy for your marsala chicken marsala Okay, that's what we're doing tonight. Chicken marsala. Yes, I bought chicken thighs, chicken breasts, turkey wings, um, ground turkey. Honey, I went to town. I did. And um, trying to make sure I eat responsibly. Put a little more. My Brussels sprouts are done. That's it. That is it. All right. Sit that off to the side. I turned the Brussels sprouts eye off. I've got the onions going. And we're going to talk about you for a minute. Yes, you. Um, add just a little touch of butter to this. I know. Boop. Here we go. Yes, honey. Um, do you guys keep, and, and my dad asked me about this this week. One of the, he was talking about. <laughs> and my mom was like, Dad, um, Tom, you act like them kids ain't got no home. We always know we can go home to Lynchburg. So he was like, you need to come down here. I'm like, Daddy, I'm fine. I'm going to get some food in the house and I will be okay. Trust me. Um, but he wanted to make sure that I had like an emergency kit and my go bag. So if I had to get up and leave, um, I've got all that stuff. So you can't see it right now, but I've got like a little steel gun box. There's no gun in it. Calm down. 
but it's got like all my particulars it's got social security driver's license divorce decree everything is in that box did i just say that yes i did it's in the box if it's important to me it's in the box okay if i can't carry it in my wallet it's in the box so if i had to get up and leave i just grab the box yes okay so i got the box I've got um a little bag. Ooh, time to add the wine. Turn it up. Woo! Let that. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, that was a little more in the cup. Ta-da! Okay. Let that go. Just let it go. Don't worry about it. We're going to let them, I'm turning the pot all the way up so that, ooh, that smell good. Ooh, yeah, the alcohol is real. Look at this. Oh, yeah, that's real. So let that cook off a little bit, and then we're going to add some chicken broth. And then once that reduces, we'll add a little touch of cream, put our chicken back in, let it okay. go. Got my mushrooms in there. It was late, but I got it. I was supposed to add it with the onions and stuff. Chad, it's a live show. That's all I'm saying. So, I've got my go bag with some clothes, some medication. I bought, I don't normally take, like, ibuprofen or anything. I do take a baby aspirin every day for my um, high blood pressure. But I did buy some ibuprofen so that if I do get sick and end up with a fever... Um, I got something that can hopefully take that down until I can get to a hospital. Okay, so I got that. Ooh, yes, honey. God, that's nice. And then, uh, I've got, ooh, <laughs> see? Yes, it's coming along. It's coming along. And then, um, oh, I've got my some clothes in a little bag. I've got another little carry bag with like band aids and um, what you call that? Um, anti antiseptic and stuff you put on like a wound if you have it, and. I also have, so if the power goes out and I don't have anything to do, I can do me some word puzzles. So I got some little word fine puzzles. And if I happen to hurt myself, um, yes, maxi pad. I know. It, it ain't nothing to kiki and chuckle about, but for real, I keep some of those in the car so and I noticed there were a lot of them stocked in the aisles today so if you have not time to add the chicken stock man okay and the chicken stock okay okay bring that back up to a boil so the importance and I learned this from um some yes my first aid kit is in the car viva security box all of that stuff like i said if it's important to me it's in the box it stays in the box maxi pads if you hurt yourself um i keep those in the car if i cut myself changing my tire and i don't have like a, a ace bandage or something i can use a maxi pad to wrap around there to and and apply pressure until I can get um, some help. So a maxi pad and some duct tape. Um, just some important things. Um, not just as a woman, but but as anybody. But men, dads, moms. I need for you to teach your girls for real, for real. Um, like my dad taught me about keeping some of those essential things inside your vehicle inside your house so that if anything goes awry you've got a backup plan to the backup plan okay 
So, yes, go out and get yourself a, a thing of sanitary napkins, pads, whatever you call them, and just stash them away in the car, stash half in the car, and then stash hash, uh, half of them, like, underneath the sink in the house, okay? Just just some ideas for, for backup. Do y'all have any other ideas? Those are just things that I have found that, you know, kind of work. Anybody? Anybody? Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I will say that for the most part, this, um, this whole coronavirus is, um, is teaching us how to be a little more patient for the most part. This is for the people I know. I know kind people, very nice people, and um, they're patient and they're considerate. They don't go to the store and grab up all the toilet tissue. They go, no, I'm going to just get two packs and leave some for somebody that might come behind me. You know, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just part of being a human. And you know, when you go through things like this, you got to remember how to be a human being. Because you would want somebody to care for you. To think about you in times of crisis. So I think it is so vitally important that we remain above all else. Human. Just be human. Oh my goodness. Honey, that is looking real good. I still want to bring it up. Because I want to burn just a little more of that alcohol off. It's still going to have the flavor. Don't you worry, it will. Um, but I want to make sure before I put that cream in there that it, um, it's it got a nice balance of flavor all around. Okay? Okay. So... I did not add salt to my vegetables, honey. I gotta do that. The the chicken is well seasoned. Everything is well seasoned. But I, I gotta add just a little bit to that gravy. Okay? Just a little. Just a touch of love. Little bit. Just a touch. With just a touch of love. I know. I know. I can't help it. I hear a song in my head and I gotta sing it. Oh, man. So, um, today was, today seemed to fly by. It seemed like today went fast. Could have just been me because the rest of the week was like, oh my God, it feels like I've been stuck in the house for 32 days. We've been doing work meetings on Zoom. Seemed like every other day almost. It hadn't been that often, but it was, it was enough to keep you busy. Um, but they want to make sure we're working. And I realized that, that, you know, it's not just me or Viva or other people. Um, but a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are working from home with kids at home. Baby, you the real MVP. Yes, you are. You working at the house and you got kids that you homeschooling now. Trying to figure out fractions and that new math. Boo. I want to send you some of this chicken marsala so bad because I ate for you. That is, that's phenomenal. So, um. A lot of people are 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 making 
concessions and doing what they have to do just to just to endure everyday life. Boom. Ooh. 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 Did you see that? Hey, Patty Patty. You know it's my favorite. Oh, my God. Look, I was telling the audience, Pat, that I made this dish just for you. Because you're always like, oh, can I do that with chicken instead of fish? Or steak and I'm like yeah so this recipe this chicken marsala is specifically for my sister patty cake yes because she's been working wearing combat boots in the army and teaching kids at home she's the real MVP like many of you are uh, while we go through this thing and and See what's going to happen. Why you got a doofus ass president who would rather. I listen to Andrew Cuomo. And uh, I love the Cuomo brothers. I do. I, I just love them. And, and I listened to his press conference and I was like, you know what? That song. A Andrew is. That's a leader. That's a leader. Andrew said, uh, you know, while we're going through this, you know, we're going to sh shut it down. So if, if it ain't essential personnel, sit down somewhere um, while we all get through this. And he said, if, if it makes anybody upset or mad or uncomfortable, then blame me. I'm the one to blame. Because we should have gotten ahead of this. You know, it takes a real leader to say, blame me. I'm responsible for my people. So if you don't like the punishment that's coming down, not punishment, but whatever it is I'm, I'm, I'm delivering, if you don't like it, blame me. He didn't shift the blame to anybody else. I, uh, oh, <laughs> Pat said, oop, that's my cue. I got to go. Sorry. I ain't going to say nothing else about it. I promise. But I'm just saying, that's, that's, that's a leader. That's what leaders do. My mom reminded me of a saying this week. You can't teach what you don't know. And your show can lead where you don't go. Mm. Come on, somebody, say that. Okay, I'll say it for you again. You can't teach what you don't know. And you can't lead where you don't go. Because a leader doesn't say go. A leader says, let's go. And then a real good leader will be like, you know what? I already scoped out the path. I know where the pitfalls are. I scale the mountain and 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 see where where every where the little treacherous parts might be. I already did all that for you, so I'm I'm gonna help you avoid some of the the falls. That's a leader. I'm just saying, I ain't, I ain't going to say nothing else about it, but that is a leader. That is real leadership. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just like, um, and I, I got to give it up to, to Molly Shaw, our um, president and CEO of our organization. She didn't just ask us to help deliver meals to students that are in crisis. She was actually out there delivering meals to students in crisis. Like, she was out there. When you're a leader, that's what you do. Because I, I sure ain't going to just 
follow you blind if if you haven't done it or if you're not willing to do it with me just saying just saying okay oh my 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 okay so i'm gonna let that go just a little bit pat are you watching you're gonna have to watch the recipe so you can see how um and see now we got a nice it's a very light 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 ever so light cream sauce on that chicken very light i just want to taste it Okay. And because you flattened that um, chicken out with the flat side of your mallet, didn't take the chicken long to cook at all. <laughs> I know you want to make this. Of course you do. You got to make it. You have to. You must. So, I'm about ready to plate. My chicken ain't pretty. I tore it up a little bit. Oh, that marsala. It's got a little sweetness, a little tart, a little salt. The gravy is not salty. It's mm -hmm. okay. Let me let me get a plate. So I can give it to eat, child. I'm hungry. I ain't eat today. I ain't eat. You know how it is. <laughs> now this week I have no food in the house <laughs> I'm making like gourmet canned food dishes and things um but I ate because I was hungry and then today I went and stocked up on all of this food got my groceries and everything and wasn't even hungry no more <laughs> is it like that it's like okay all right, I'm gonna nuke this for a second. Oh, I I know I had um I ate a little P3 pack with the almonds, turkey, and cheese, Kobe Jack. So that's what I, I had two of those for a snack today. Which was fine. That's all I needed. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. You know. Got my rice and my ramekin. Got my plate. I like to keep it fancy, child. Just because we balling on a budget. Mm. 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 Boom. because it burned yes it was hot all right oh Get another one Ooh. oh yes brussels sprouts come through let me tell you, that caramelization on them is perfection. Let's turn my plate around just a little bit. Lay that up there. Yes, this is 
supper, y'all. This is fizzle is important. Yes, I stocked up on that too. <laughs> Chicken marsala, jasmine rice, Brussels sprouts. Y'all, look it. Thank you, Misha. Misha, Misha, you stayed watching. You are so sweet. Oh my gosh. What an awesome supporter. You guys, y'all, y'all make my night. This is. Mmm. Mmm. Season all the way through. What did I season it with? Um. Salt, pepper, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Worcestershire and pickle juice, little pickle juice, cover it, put it in the fridge, let it go, okay, that's it, that is dinner, alright, time now. Get me a dinner fork to eat the supper. I don't need a steak knife because it's so tender. All right, let's eat. All right. Thank you, Laura, for this delicious meal um, that you've allowed me to prepare. Thank you for the creativity. And the means to be able to prepare this meal for my friends and family on tonight. Lord, bless it and sanctify it for the nourishment of my body. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 Because it is that good. And Pat, I think I heard you harmonizing with me just now. for in a time when people are out here literally leaving life every single day or still have breath in their bodies but aren't really living honey we got a lot to smile about and still thank God for one of the things I'm grateful for is you. Um, our family has been, once again, struck by tragedy um, during this time. So, if you could, just whisper a prayer. Lift them up, honey. Um, and I know because... <laughs> Seems like, man, we always getting hit with stuff. But you know what? I know who holds us in the palm of his hands. And I'm grateful for that. Keeping me when I can't keep myself. Thank you so much for tuning in and making a little black girl's dream come true. Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live on Friday nights at 7 o'clock. It is the best day of the week. Friday has become my favorite day. Friday used to be a day where I just come home and download from the week and do nothing. Watch a movie, drink some wine, and go to sleep. But since this show, I've gotten a chance to connect. Hey, Benji. See? Family. 
I've gotten a chance to connect with people I haven't heard from, seen in such a long time. New people that are tuning in. Um, and I owe it all to you. Because sometimes I hear y'all telling people about the show and, oh, you should check it out. And, and I don't say that to say anything good about myself. I say that to say everything good about you because you don't have to do it. You don't have to give me your time on Friday nights. You don't. But you do. Just to let me have my say, air my grievances, be silly, act a fool when I want to. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to keep the resources coming. If I hear of anything, if Viva Harris hears of anything, remember you can friend her. She's got a plethora of resources that she has been listing on her page all week long from here to Atlanta. So if you know about good things that are happening, if you know about resources, po post it. Send it to us. We'll get it posted. Um, because now more than ever, we need each other. And even if we have leadership that looks absolutely crazy, we have to lead. We have to look like love and humanity. So I hope that uh, after tonight, um, you will take what's been said, those little resources we threw out, the little things you need to get prepared for and get your bag together and all that stuff. I hope you do that um, because as much as we can be prayerful, we should also be prepared. Yeah, prayerful people are also prepared people. All right, so be both. I love you. Remember, it's Sugar Pearls Studio Kitchen Live every Friday at 7. SugarPearlsOnline.com is the website. YouTube at Sugar Pearls and Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. I hope you love me back.